Hello, today I'm going to show you I bought these headlights on eBay uh, They're from VIP Motas And here they are These are the the black in, inside And that's how they come in a box And they came with two boxes And that's how they look That's how they packaged Uh, the headlight uses a H1 bulb and it comes with the bulb but I'll be putting an HID bulb in it but it has this clip right here and um, when I put the HID bulb in here I can't I can't put the clip back on I can't snap it back on so I'll have to shave some plastic off to make the clip fit um you will have to remove these clips from the from one from here one from here um it's kind of hard to do it by hand so use needle nose pliers and remove these this two clips and then you can put this aside and here's the bulb you just press this clip right here and the bulb comes off here's your h1 bulb and i'll put the hid in as you can see i want to put the bulb in and then i'll put this clip back on to hold the bulb in place and you can see i can't clip it no more because it's uh this plastic is too thick and i can't i can't clip it to here I gotta put the clip right here and I can't so I'm gonna shave some off with the file so I was able to file some down file the, some plastic out and now the clip now this clip right here I was able to put it at the ball beam and snap it in so now it has enough room for it to clip on now um, I cut the wires for the bulb because I'm going to be putting them through this um, dust shield and um, it's up to you you could remove this pants inside but I don't even want to mess with it yeah you just like you got to remove like a plastic there and remove the wiring from the bottom but I just cut it and I'm just gonna retape it. So this is what I did. So this will go inside the thing and then the cover will slide on. And then I'll just retape the use electric tape and tape the connections. So right here, this is what I did. And I taped the two two wires that comes from the bulb. Look at that. Next, we'll have to run these two through through here, through these two holes, and it's going to come out where the bulb's at. Okay, so I ran it through the boot, and they come out right here. I took some, like I stick in, I stick it in through the thing, and then I use a needle nose pliers to pull them out easily. And everything pulled out easily. Next, we're going to connect them like that um, blue to red and black to black and then just put tape around the connections so I made the connections and slid the boot over the little white boot over the my electrical tape so I put the bulb in right there it's clipped in already and I'm about to put this dust cover back on and slowly pull this wire so I don't have a lot of wires inside of there. And this will be a finished product. The dust puts on and there it, there the connections are right here. And I did the same thing to the other headlight. Alright, to get to your headlights, basically you just remove the, the back piece right here. There's just clips. And then there's like four bolts on top and the grill just starts moving. And then it's you have to unclip this. 
Basically the grill just pops up. You just gotta like push it and it pops up. Uh, you can look on YouTube how to do that. And then you gotta go in the back here. And there's like a little ledge for the headlight you gotta put. You remove these two bolts and the headlight pops out. Here's my stock headlight. I removed it and I already I already did this before. I um I already put HEDs in my stock headlight. And I'm going to be replacing with that aftermarket one. All right, this is the um, this is the HADs I'm using. Innovated canvas error-free HAD ballast. I'll be using this. This is my new ones. These are supposed to be all plug and play with no errors at all. This one is my old one. This was with my stock headlights. They were on those headlights. Um, you can buy a regular ballast, but you will eventually will need to add this. It's a warning canceller, so your HEDs won't flicker or um, so so they can work properly. You will need this thing, but if you get the canvas, it's all plug and play. It already has everything built in. Uh, you will have to remove this from your stock headlight. This, this is your turn signal light. You'll have to remove the bulb. And you'll have to plug it in to this part. You plug it in here, and then you'll push it. You'll push this in there with the wire, and just spin it on, and that's it. Because these are LEDs now. Hello. Today I'll be showing you how to install fog lights, HIDs, HIDs for um, for fog lights. And this is on a 2011 Dodge Ram. All right, here's your bulb. I already have HADs, but I'm putting a different kit on it. Basically, you just spin it counterclockwise, and here's the bulb. And here's the connection right here. This is the connection you need. This will be probably in your, in your stock bulb. Here's the connection. Just pull these tabs and it comes off. Okay, so I mounted my ballast up here, ran the wires, and here's your connection. This is for the for the harness, and then this will be for your light bulbs right here. And then this is for your, that goes to your headlight, and this will go to your turn signal light. Uh, this is the kit I'll be using. Innovative HAD AC ballast. And here's the bulb. Basically, you just line up. When you go under the truck, you just line up the grooves, put the bulb in, and spin it clockwise. And then this will connect to the here, and this other part right here will connect to your ballast. And here's the finished product. And this is how it looks with the lights on. This is in the daytime. And I'll show you a night picture, a night video. And this is how it looks at night. And this is what the head, headlights are. And this is how it looks. Um, this is just the uh, he headlights.
There's just the headlights. No, the fog lights are not on. And this will be with fog lights on. I'm turning on the fog lights now. The fog lights are on now. And here, I'll turn off the fog lights again. Right now, fog lights are off. And here goes the fog lights again. And this is how the LED works. And also my fog lights are 6K and they have projectors in it in them too. Or uh, I mean they have uh, HIDs bulb in it too. And one more thing, um, to, to aim the headlights, my stock, you just have to go through this hole right here. But these headlights, you'll have to remove them. Like you, you have to remove the grill again, everything just to aim them. So. That's just um, what you gotta do.